hi you guys welcome back to my channel you know if i'm in the bathroom i'm most likely about to be talking about my hair and that is what today's video is all about so first of all updating you guys because as you can see i did get color i did get my hair bleached which is like dun, dun, dun. but yes I did bleach my hair. Um, my hair has been bleached once before in the past. If you've seen my natural hair story video, I don't remember what I titled it, but whatever that thing is. Um, if you've seen that, you knew uh, all about me coloring my hair. And actually in the past, when I colored it, it was amazing and I was obsessed with the color, but I didn't really adjust my regimen to add extra moisture to my hair since I had the color and that came to my new butt. You can find out all about that uh, by watching the video. Go click the video. But anyway, so I'm here today, like I said, to update you. So now that I have the color, um, I basically was inspired by the color that I had in the first time. We actually tried to recreate it, uh, but my best friend, Kimberly, y'all know, I mention her all the time. She does my hair when it comes to color and things like this um so she colored my hair and pressed it out last thursday so it's been about a week and i'm probably gonna end up washing it because i'm just thirsty to see what the curls look like uh with the color i'm really excited about that ah! but anyway today's video is talking about how i have now celebrated six years natural that to me is a while i have been natural for six years and some of y'all especially the petty ones in the comments of my five year natural hair video have pointed out that my hair kind of stopped growing wait a minute wait wait a minute hold wait first of all you're not gonna speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said um yeah my hair was this length that it is now uh my senior year of college so in three years when i was three years natural my hair was rocking at this length i mean i literally i'll insert pictures of like this length is not really new to me it's a little longer maybe but not really i mean i think there might have been points over the last six years where my hair was longer than what it is now i'm just gonna venture to say that because all these pictures i'm inserting y'all be the judge but i personally think yes and my ultimate measure is that my hair is bra strap length. So when I measure it, I mean, this is just obviously an arbitrary measure. But yeah, my bra strap is, it hits the top of my bra strap. And I've done this for years. And it's always in that same position. Like my hair. In my mind, six years natural for me, I was about to be out here looking like natural. Yes, queen. You feel me? I was about to be out here draping. I was about to be natural. Yes, queen. I was about to be, I mean, I was about to be out here draping. And my hair has plateaued. And for a minute, I was in denial, especially because, again, if you watch my natural hair story, I talked about how I got the haircut in 2017. Actually, when my hair was the longest, like a dummy, I went and cut it off. But that, that haircut was fire, though. So, I mean, I don't know how bad I felt. Uh, still don't know if I feel bad about it. I mean, I kind of do just because my hair was so long. But, like I said, at the time, I would say, like, oh, I cut my hair. You know, I'm on the way back from that. Blah, blah, blah. It's been now two whole solid years since that haircut. My hair should be, I mean, it did recover because the haircut, I mean, it was much shorter than this. But, it didn't recover and then my hair is now draping down my back. There's no reason I'm not like near mid back at least uh, with my length. If not waist length. The, the rate that my hair was growing in the beginning, I just knew I was gonna be out here draping at waist length. And so I'm not really frustrated. I just feel like my hair has plateaued. It is not growing past this length. And there's nothing I can do about it. And the most frustrating thing about it is my fro length. Like, my fro length is frustrating because at this rate, like I can stretch my fro and make it look really bomb and like people don't ask questions about it. But I'm stretching it. If I let my hair uh, air dry, should I If I let my hair air dry, I'm gonna be out here looking like an eight year old little boy because that hair goes 
to my head, the curls are super tight, and it's just like, it's not good. And I wanted to be at a place where my shrinkage, even though it would be a lot, would not suck to my head. Like it would hang, you know, like my hair would, or, or stretch out on its own. Like, it's really frustrating because I'm just not where I thought that I would be. And so amid my frustration, I was like, okay, let me have a reality check with myself. I can either be really salty about all of this, or I can really think about like what's contributing maybe to my hair staying saline. So, the reality is that hair grows, okay? So, if the length is not changing, it's simply because you're not retaining the length. But it's not that your hair is not growing. I know my hair grows, especially with this color, I'll really be able to see the difference in like my roots when they like grow out. My hair grows. I just don't think I'm maintaining the length on this end of it, on the end. So let me just run y'all through why I, when I like problem solved, think that my hair is maintaining pretty much the same length and not growing. So first of all, um, the first thing is that I am super duper 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 lazy with my hair while school is in. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. It's just a fact. Like, I, my hair is in buns these days 99% of the time. When I first went natural, I would do a lot of like uh, twist out. Well, not really twist outs. I would do twist outs, but I was mainly like a braid out person. Bantu knot, oh my gosh. Bantu knots is my thing. Bantu knots and braid outs was like my like back and forth, back and forth. I did a lot more with my hair as far as styling, which means that I would uh, wet it and rinse it a lot more often. Like, I just, I was exploring and it was fun, but I kind of fell off of that and became like a wash and go person, which also wash and goes, while they're awesome and convenient sometimes, they also lead you to like really matted hair and you start like laying on your wash and go and the curls are all tangled with each other, like your hair is not stretched, so it's just all getting wrapped around each other and getting matted and then instead of washing it, I would just throw it up in a bun and put some gel on my edges. And I think that laziness partially contributes to this because my ends, child, my ends had a story of its own. And that leads into part two of why I think my hair stopped growing is in the beginning, I would pretty much get my hair pressed out every like three to six months. Now, mm, when I got my hair pressed for my birthday, remember I told you guys that was the first time I had it pressed since last year. And presses are actually really healthy for your hair done sparingly. Um, because it kind of resets your hair, it resets your curl pattern, it uh, stretches everything, it detangles everything. And the other thing that I do when I get my hair pressed is I get my ends trimmed. And so without uh, going to get my hair pressed out for a year, I had had my ends trimmed for a year. And you know, if you chill out with split ends, they grow. And so you have more split ends. And then when it's time to get it cut, you're cutting off more hair. And yeah, that was just my testimony. So. Really, I was kind of defeating my own purpose by not consciously going and getting it trimmed on a regular basis. Like, all that new growth that I was having is probably just eating eaten up because, yeah, I wasn't taking care of the ends. Um, so laziness, my ends. I, in the beginning, also was taking vitamins. I don't think you have to take vitamins for hair, girl. Let me not just be out here claiming that. But, I don't know, maybe it did help because of the rate that my hair was growing back then and just the sturdiness, I guess, of my hair. So I am kind of considering the idea of going back to taking some kind of pill. And the pill that I was taking originally in the beginning actually eventually started making me lose uh, my appetite and like my taste for certain things. So I have to be careful about the one that I picked because I mean, literally I would get like a gag reflex when it was time to eat and it was like with eating anything. So I had to get off that pill. So I'm gonna look around to see if there's a pill, mainly a vitamin. I think I'm gonna focus on vitamin that I can add to my regimen because another thing that I did when I was like freaking out like why is my hair growing if I went and watched some YouTube videos and that was one of the things that some of them mentioned is maybe your body is deficient in something um, and so your hair needs whatever that is, whether it's iron or whatever hair needs and you're not getting it um so maybe you should be supplementing with vitamins so i'm like okay no the other thing which i kind of hinted at with the laziness of my hair and just like throwing it up in buns and not really caring about how mad it or whatever it gets is two things one 
not really caring about my scarf sitting on at times. Like, I used to have a satin, uh, bonnet, satin bonnet, a satin pillowcase. When I was little, my hair was like growing, growing. I had a satin pillowcase. But now, I kind of, you know, it throws off the aesthetic of my bed. And it's like, eh, it's not really a priority. And so I have all cotton pillows, a cotton body pillow, all that jazz. But, uh, no satin pillowcase. So my scarf falls off, my hair is just you know, getting sucked up by all the cotton, potentially breaking off, all that jazz. And so what can I really say to that? Like, I can't really complain if I'm not using a satin pillowcase. I think it was Juju B who said in a video about how frequently she like, wet and moisturizes her hair. So I used to wash my hair about every four to five days and I would do the Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask every time in the shower, like faithfully, which was almost like a, um, deep conditioning treatment and I can't tell you the last time I did that most times when I'm in the shower I do a quick like shampoo condition like I did try to uh, update my regimen which you all saw that video last year um but for the most part I wasn't doing it consistently I wasn't doing it every four or five days like I would go sometimes two weeks two weeks and I like for some people they can do that they have ways to like moisturize their hair throughout that time my hair gets really dry to the point where like it's the kind of moisture that it only has a few days post wash so with me going two weeks without that my hair would be like brittle <laughs> My hair would be like brittle and then I would be starting over with getting in the shower which caused me to lose a lot of hair in the shower so while I'm detangling I mean my hair was just super brittle super dry so I'm losing a lot more hair um, you know in the shower while I'm washing and detangling I mean literally I would have like just ugh, hair everywhere in my shower which just should not be the case yes you shed yes you lose hair at times but it just really should not be the case that it is that bad so I think those are all the things that I came to terms with of like, this is why my hair is maintained the same place. I thank God it's not like getting shorter. Like I'm not losing hair like up this way, but me and bra strap length are just stuck like glue. And I'm just over it. Like I'm kind of at the point where I want to see how long my hair can get so that from there, if I want to cut it or do crazy stuff with it that I just feel like doing, I can do it because it's like, oh, I like saw how long it can get. I grew it out for all those years. And I can figure out what I wanted to do from there. I also wanted to jump in here and share with you guys that I forgot like the main one that I think is contributing to this and it is the fact that I stretch my fro with um, heat typically with a blow dryer. I've actually showed that routine on my channel before but this is the post that I made on my profile talking about like this is my hair with shrinkage like letting it air dry and picking it out which is not typical for me but I'm going to try to challenge myself to do that all summer long and not to stretch my fro with heat because that had just become regular part of my routine and it changed the texture of my hair and just you know contributed to a lot of dryness so yeah I think that plays a part as well I just know that I should be retaining more length than I currently am so what am I gonna do about it I'm gonna try to address all the things that I brought up um, and kind of do an update with you all I've seen videos about like the rice water I don't know how I feel about that especially because people say it stinks I don't do good with steak, and so I don't know if I want my hair stinking like rice water. Don't know how to feel about that. So now that I have this bleach back in my hair, I know I have to be adamant about adjusting my routine to maintain more moisture in my hair, give my hair more moisture. I don't have an option about that, or else I want to be losing hair at the rate that I was when I got bleached the first time. No, God, please, no, no, no! And I don't want that. So I know it's pretty urgent that I change my regimen. So if you all have any suggestions, I'm totally open in the comment section to anything that you want to offer, suggest, products I should use, etc. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to try to address those things. So far, I've done good with, um, I had a hair consultation for my birthday in February. It was recommended that every 90 days, so every three months, that I get my hair pressed and ends trimmed. So far, I've done that. So my first press was February 25th, or well, February like 16th, I think it was. Um, and got my ends trimmed real good. And like, I can tell the difference. Like the ends of my hair just coil so perfectly. And so like, ugh, it just does something different. It hits different after a trim. And so I did that and then I just got this press um, last Thursday, like I said. So that was like, what, the 10th or 11th? So really almost uh, an exact 90 days. Got my ends trimmed. 
So I'm feeling really good and I feel like this will be a step in the right direction. Um, gonna look into those vitamins, gonna get inside the pillowcase. And yeah, and like I said, if y'all have tips, um, I have been looking through YouTube just to see is there anything that has boosted other people's hair growth because I just wanna see how long we can get with this hair. So yeah, I'm sorry I don't have a super cool six year update where my hair is draping twice as long as it was last year. Sorry to disappoint you, we're pretty much at the same length. And I just wanted to be honest and admit that to you guys. I feel like a lot of times on YouTube there's this pressure to be like this perfect natural and like I do everything right and like all this stuff. And like y'all be praising my hair sometimes and I'm like, if you only feel like I don't get it right all the time. And this is a perfect example of all the ways I'm not getting it right right now. That's okay. We're gonna address this and I'm gonna do it kind of like a journey of sharing it with you guys. Updates on my hair length and any new products I use, any new things that I try with my hair length. So yeah, that's my six year update. Um, celebrated six years on May 8th. Uh, so what was that last week and yeah so I'm feeling good um, I'm feeling hopeful and I love my new hair color I mean if you can't tell <laughs> and I appreciate all y'all's love and compliments y'all got stopped in Chipotle yesterday I actually thought I was in trouble because it was a worker I walked in she said excuse me and I was like oh snap you know it was a little late they were about to close, I'm like, maybe she's gonna say they ran out of stuff, like, or whatever. I just, or maybe I came through a wrong door. I didn't know what she was about to tell me. And she was like, I love your hair color. And I was like, thank you, girl, even though you scared the life out of me. But yes, I'm really loving this, guys. And so, yeah, we're gonna treat this hair right and just see what happens. So if you want to see what happens, make sure you subscribe on your way out and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any updates. Make sure you like this if you enjoyed it. Share it with a friend. Maybe they're struggling with why their hair is not growing past a certain length. Share this with them. Maybe they'll have some revelations about things they're doing that they shouldn't be doing. And yeah, I think that's everything. Okay, love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.